Hello friends, today I am going to review the book, Your Leadership Story. Use your story to energize, inspire, and motivate by Timothy J. Tobin. Having a positive, leadership story, is critical. All leaders have leadership stories whether they know it or not. Your leadership story is, the collection of events, perspectives and behaviors that represent who you are as a leader. It evolves from your unique experiences. And it makes a difference in your career. Take Bill, a competent corporate leader who believed in delegating. He trusted the members of his team and was confident they could handle their assignments. As part of his job, Bill reviewed and tracked his company's financial statements, as he thought he should. Yet, due to his delegating style, he relied on the fiscal experts in his company to manage the details of everyday financial operations. You cannot fake leadership. It must be sincere and real and reflect who you are. One day, during a meeting that Bill didn't attend, another executive asked one of those experts if Bill knew about the firm's current financial reports. The expert's answer indicated that Bill didn't get involved in the details. Quite to Bill's detriment, this negative description about his supposed lack of interest in financial details quickly became an unattractive aspect of his leadership story. Ensure that others' perception of your leadership story is aligned with your reality. After he became aware of this blot on his reputation, it took Bill nearly a year of concentrated effort to improve perceptions about him company-wide. His leadership story had gotten away from him. Other people created it. Their inaccurate or confused perceptions could have derailed his leadership position, ruined his effectiveness and maybe cost him his job. Fortunately, feedback about this unfair characterization reached Bill, giving him a chance to rectify these negative perceptions before they did serious damage. Write your own story. Make sure that you, and only you, control your leadership story. Don't let other people's versions of your leadership become the dominant narratives. Leadership stories are colorful depictions of events that provide a snapshot in time, yet they are works in progress. Constantly reshape your personal leadership story to always look good to those you lead. The best way to write that story is to become the most effective leader possible. You are the main character in your leadership story, but others play an important role. Your leadership story should address several questions. Do you know who you are as a leader? What matters to you? Why and how you lead? And what you want to accomplish? To achieve your goals, you must address these and other issues like them. Despite the importance of such introspection, many leaders can't answer these queries. Combined into the most important questions, they amount to, what is your leadership story? Are you its author, or are you letting other people write it for you? Your leadership story lives in the hearts and minds of, your audience. Determine how others perceive you and your story. If you see yourself as a quality leader but your colleagues don't, you are at risk. Others will try to define your leadership story. That is, they'll write an unflattering version behind your back. Get out in front and write it yourself. Become the actor, writer and director of your leadership story. The story you create will shape your colleagues' perceptions. If they view you negatively, work hard to change their minds, even if that requires you to build up your leadership abilities. What kind of leader do you want to be? Set a specific goal outlining the type of leader you aspire to be. Maybe a servant leader, like one-minute manager author Ken Blanchard, a purpose-driven leader, like True North author Bill George, or a steward leader, like Nelson Mandela. Whatever style you choose, provide the people you lead with vision and direction that motivates and inspires them. Even in instances when people in the workplace heard a detail about you but did not experience it for themselves, they are inclined to carry that as part of your leadership story. Communicate your leadership story to those around you through your actions. The things you do signal who you are more credibly than what you say. To develop your story, consider, define and include the classic elements of plot, characters, conflict, theme and setting. Make sure you are the sole hero of your leadership story. You may think you are a good or great leader. If your actions do not support that, others are unlikely to perceive you that way, no matter how loudly and how often you proclaim it. Your story's narrative arc requires a timeline with a beginning, middle and end, that is, rising action, a climax, and descending action. Your narrative arc traces your leadership journey. To see where you're going as a leader, consider where you've been, including past events and the people who helped shape your leadership. Chart this information by creating a chronology tracing your leadership timeline. Once you have a clear history marked by the significant events of your career as a leader, use the timeline to anchor the plot of your continuing story. If you sing your own praises, people may be skeptical or even resistant. They may look for ways to discount you or even contradict you. Think about where you want to go as a leader and develop your future leadership action plan. 
Follow these 10 steps to create your leadership story. Define your plot. Your story's plot represents your mission as a leader. Your values shape that mission and thus define your story. Your plot covers why you do what you do. To develop it, explain what matters to you as a leader and what you hope to achieve. Your plot depends on how you define leadership and on the elements of leadership that excite you. Write a personal leadership mission statement to clarify your priorities and goals. Identify and build strong relationships with your key characters. Your main characters will include protagonists who support you and antagonists, whether passive or active, who work against you. While reflecting these various viewpoints, make your leadership story positive. Consider the perceptions you want to generate among your colleagues as you craft your leadership style and adjust your actions. To recruit more protagonists, be relatable and likable. Demonstrate your capability, effort, willingness to learn, and even humility. Prepare for conflict. No matter where you work, you can't avoid conflict. Develop your conflict management skills. Learn from how others resolve disagreements. Conflict resolution calls for an empathetic mindset. When conflict arises, change your point of reference from you to I. Instead of saying you should to those who oppose you, explain how their actions make you feel. Develop skills designed to respond best to the way conflict arises in your firm. Whenever possible, deal with conflict proactively. Don't let disagreements fester. Develop your theme. Your story's theme concerns your strengths, including your technical skills and interpersonal skills, as well as your weaknesses. You need self-awareness to assess these attributes and deficiencies. Define what you're known for as a leader and what you want to be known for. Conducting a 360-degree assessment every 18 months can help. For best results, ensure anonymity to all participants. Grade yourself as a leader and ask others to grade you based on your actions and abilities to round out your leadership story. As you learn more about yourself as a leader, find the courage to reconcile your self-perceptions with the way others see you. Find your optimal setting. You will always perform best in surroundings that are conducive to your personality, temperament and preferences. In this context, setting refers to physical setting, culture, policies, and structure, not people. Determine the best context for your leadership by asking if you are where you want to be, geographically, and emotionally. Decide how to derive the maximum benefit from where you are now. Detour around its imperfections or improve it. Maybe adding music or artwork to your physical space will lift your spirits and help you work more effectively. Know your message. Now that you've developed your leadership story, you know what type of leader you are and you've identified the foundational values of your leadership story. Next, communicate your story to others. Consider the messages you want to convey in light of your expectations about yourself and your employees. Frame your leadership story so that your audience will respond favorably. For example, humility may be a part of your leadership story, but you can't tell people how humble you are. Instead, demonstrate genuine humility through your day-to-day -day actions. Know your audience. Your leadership story must be relevant to your listeners and must resonate with them. Identify your main audience and consider what would interest them and what information would be useful to them. Test your story with colleagues before you tell it to the company as a whole. Heed their feedback. The best leadership stories feature collaborative storytelling. This requires strong working relationships with those you lead, your audience members. A powerful, ongoing leadership story lives in your audience's hearts and minds. Maximize moments of truth. Recognize the narrative power of the special, memorable moments of your leadership journey, when there is something to be gained or lost. A moment of truth is a great awakening that transforms your perception of life. Find the nugget of the tale of these singular moments. If you want to include more moments of truth, create them by volunteering for special projects where you know you can do outstanding work. Remember never to overpromise results. Actions speak louder than words. What you say must always match what you do. If not, you will lose credibility with your colleagues and employees. The risk is that such a loss would become a potent negative element of your leadership story. For example, don't say you have an open door policy if you never make yourself available. Be authentic. Your nonverbal communication can undermine your leadership story. Be careful about your style, attire, office space, and so on. Be authentic in order to build and sustain your executive presence. Enlist others to tell your leadership story. Self-promotion is unattractive. Constantly reminding your colleagues and employees what a great leader you are will alienate them. 
Instead, recruit credibility substitutes. Harvard Business Review article, The Necessary Art of Persuasion, by Jay Conger. Their credibility stands in for yours. The more such endorsers you enlist the better, but approach them carefully. Your reputation will backfire if potential supporters feel your outreach springs only from self-promotion. The Art of Storytelling To plan your story, write about how you got where you are today. List the exciting or revelatory experiences that energized your leadership journey. Consider how other leaders lead and how you might do things differently. Always look one level or more up in the organization to see how leaders dress, carry themselves and keep their workspace. Model that and set the example. Leadership is a dynamic, moving target that requires you to be thoughtful and prepared. As with any other story, the setting of your leadership story partially determines its outcome. Find a setting that is ideal for you. Be candid and never misrepresent yourself. Practice your story until you can tell it easily and convincingly. Make sure that your personal mission, your leadership story's plot, supports your firm's vision. Take charge of your leadership story. Create an impressive leadership story that makes you proud and reflects positively on your work and character. Even though it won't be easy to do, assume authorship and ownership of your story. Composing an honest leadership saga will force you to come to grips with your personal liabilities and failures. This may require making difficult decisions in the face of tough choices. Your natural tendency may be to avoid the angst of objective self-appraisal. Fight that fear. This process, however difficult, will help you become a better leader. You are only as good a leader as people think you are. Amend your leadership story daily, as high-quality leaders always do. Since leadership stories must be dynamic and ever-evolving, polish and share yours as a regular responsibility to your development and career. Let it serve as an anchor and foundation for your actions as a leader. Take a ways. Your leadership story is the collection of events, perspectives and behaviors that represent who you are as a leader. Every leader has a leadership story, whether good or bad. Be the author of your own leadership story. Don't let anyone else define it. Your leadership story covers what you do and determines how you come across. Every leadership story contains a plot, characters, conflict, theme and setting. Many leaders don't consider their leadership stories or how to communicate them. Try to learn how others see you as a leader. Work to improve their perceptions. If your current leadership story doesn't reflect you accurately, change it for the better. Your personal mission, which is the basis of your leadership story's plot, must support your company's vision. Continually rewrite and revise your leadership story as your career progresses. If you enjoy our content and would like to stay updated with our latest videos, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you so much for watching.